Hello there, welcome to our channel Trendy Movie Recap. Our channel gives you movie briefs while capturing the moral of the movie storyline. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time we post a video in future. This video is based on a movie titled Blind Heat. This movie starts with hijacking of a very rich old man being hijacked in bold daylight. The old man is seen going to his mistress under very tight security. The old man embarks on a black limousine and escorted to a very beautiful lady's apartment. A red helicopter dropping from the top of the building while suspended on strong chains. They ran. One of the hijackers slap the lady as they leave the apartment. The old man is put in the helicopter and flown away. Another rich couple have moved Mexico City recently for business venture. In one of the evenings in the party are enjoying a dance on the dance floor, Jeff's secretary, who is also in the party jealously looks at them. The host praises Jeff and tells the guests that his company is going to merge with Jeff's company. The host of the party welcomes Jeff shake hands and hug amid huge applause from the guests. As the guests mingle and socialize, Jeff's secretary accidentally spill wine on Jeff's wife as she is talking to some ladies. She moves to the table where Jeff is and tells him that she is uncomfortable in her wet dress. Jeff suggests that she go home, she wouldn't hear any of that. She knows the secretary poured the wine on her purposely. As she enters the vehicle, Jeff tells her he would join her at the house before she goes to bed and she sarcastically tells him she has heard that before. Jeff goes back to the party and heads straight to the bar. He asks the bartender to give him a glass of whiskey. His secretary Liz joins him immediately. Jeff tells her she spilled her drink on his wife on purpose, but she refuses saying it was an accident. He tells her he loves his wife, and that it would have been uncomfortable for them if she was still around. Liz, the secretary, and Jeff passionately kiss. Meanwhile, the old man who was hijacked is in an underground room somewhere near a railway line, and being tortured badly. The hijacker calls the wife of the old man and tells her she has ruined everything by going to the police. She begs him not to hurt the husband. He tells the old man that his wife broke the rules by going to the police. He orders his men to cut one of his thumbs. The wife is still on the line and she pleads with the gang leader not to hurt her husband, but the gang leader is so ruthless. The old man cries loudly as they cut his thumb. The gang leader tells the old man's wife to send $5 million in random serial number and unmarked. Jeff's wife wakes up and finds Jeff already in the lounge. Jeff grates her and follows her to the kitchen. As she takes juice from the fridge, Jeff asks her whether she would like to talk about the previous night. Jeff tells Jeff apologizes and says that he had been very occupied with work lately since they were setting up the Jeff apologizes and promises to hijackers gang leader comes in dressed like a cleaner. He pounces on her hitting her before she could scream. She injects her with some liquid as other members of the gang quickly put her in a dustbin. A woman peeps from one of the toilets when this ordeal is taking place. The gang leader returns to the toilet and kills her. The police interrogate the husband for the police tell Jeff and his partner about there are many hijacking groups in Mexico City. They tell Jeff that the best thing to do is to pay the ransom the hijackers would request. Jeff's wife is taken to a dirty unfished building structure where she is tied to a wall. The American embassy sends some staff to Jeff to offer him support. Jeff shows them the latest communication from the kidnappers. They advise him to get a negotiator instead of using the police. The embassy engages a negotiator by the name of Paul to take over the matter. Paul packs his arsenals in readiness of the assignment. Victor goes to see the kidnapped lady. When she is brought to him, he persuades her to eat and stop the hunger strike. He tells her that she might be there for a long time. Food is brought and she agrees to eat. Victor tells her that if she misbehaves again, she will be taken back to the dark cells. The negotiator lands in Mexico City and finds Jeff eagerly waiting for him in a limousine at the airport. They discuss at length how the operation to save her wife will be done. 
Jeff tells the negotiator that it has been a long time since she was kidnapped and asks him whether she could be alive. The negotiator tells him the kidnappers would not kill her as long they expect he is going to pay them. The negotiator asks Jeff what he thinks his wife is worth. He asks him how much he was willing to pay to secure the release his wife from the kidnappers. The kidnappers discuss about the hostage. Their leader makes nasty comments about her, and his gang members laugh about it except Victor, who is pissed off by the jokes. The gang leader assigns him the duty of watching the hostage going forward. As he walks away from the meeting the gang leader comments that Victor has a soft spot for the kind of business they do, and that is why he would kill him at the end of that job. The negotiator takes charge. The kidnappers send a video showing the picture of Jeff's wife blindfolded and hands tied. In the video, the wife tells Jeff to send the amount demanded by the kidnappers. The gang leaders explain that the money should be sent in small unmarked American bills. The negotiator tells Jeff that he should not pay the ransom, because if he did the kidnappers would ask for more money. Victor enters the hostage's room and gives coffee to her. He confirms that the hostage is not seeing. The negotiator together with the policeman in charge of the case go to a cyber cafe, where an email sent to Jeff had originated from. The negotiator is able to get a picture of the sender by reviewing the CCTV camera. Jeff buys Liz his secretary very expensive earrings. Liz is very pleased and they kiss. She tells Jeff that she cares for him and that they should live together, but Jeff tells her it is too early to think that way. Liz reads about one of the agreements between Jeff and the kidnappers. Jeff tells her to give them their privacy. He shows Jeff a photo of one of the kidnappers that he got at the cyber cafe. The kidnappers go to the gas station to collect the ransom as agreed, but they don't find the money. The gang leader is so furious, he goes back into the hostage and threatens to kill her. He beats her badly. He tells Victor to cut one of her fingers and send it to Jeff. Victor tries to cut the finger, but he is not able. The gang leader calls Jeff and tells him that he will be cutting a finger of the wife for not complying. Jeff tells him that if they cut her finger, he would also cut the ransom. The negotiator who is recording the whole conversation congratulate Jeff for handling the conversation nicely. The gang leader argues with Victor for not cutting the finger as directed. Victor argues his case and the gang leader regrets for making a deal with a coward like him. Victor brings the hostage water and tells her to take a bath. She is so happy about it. She says she can manage the bath even when blindfolded. She tells Victor she has developed other senses after a long time of being blindfolded. She requests to touch Victor's face in order to describe to him how he looks. Victor allows her to touch his face, but tells her description of him is long. The negotiator zeroes in on one of the kidnappers. With the help of the police, he is able to nab him. Victor enters into the hostage's room just about when she had finished taking bath. She come close to him and calls his name. They touch each other intimately and kiss. The arrested kidnapper is thoroughly tortured by police to disclose the location of the hostage, but he does not give any information. Liz comes to the hostage's room and finds Victor in bed with the naked hostage. Victor is not happy with Liz for coming to the place. Liz is also mad with Victor. Liz tells Victor that they are in a problem since the negotiator has kept her out of all the negotiations. Victor tells her that whatever he is doing is for their own good. He raid the place and a fierce gun battle ensues. The kidnappers are outnumbered and most of them are killed. Victor and the hostage are having fun. They are not aware of the invasion. She tells Victor to let her go, her place. He tells him to kill the hostage and throw away her body. The hostage asks Victor what is wrong, but before he could answer two of the kidnappers come for them. The hostage is put in a vehicle and driven to the mountains to be killed. They find their leader waiting for them, and the hostage is removed from the vehicle and made to kneel in front of the gang leader. She calls Victor by name requesting him to save her. The gang leader is surprised that the hostage knows Victor by name. He gives the gun to Victor to kill her. Victor seizes the opportunity. 
He grabs the gang leader and shoots the two other kidnappers. He shoots the gang leader on the leg. The hostage manages to run away. The negotiator and the police report to Jeff that they had managed to get the kidnappers, but they did not find his wife. They tell him that either the kidnappers had killed her or transferred her to another location. hugs her as he requests for a doctor to be called in to check on her. The following day, she tells Jeff that she needs a divorce immediately. Jeff pleads with her but she is determined to get the divorce. As she takes the lift, a man gets into the lift, her instincts tell her the man is Jeff. She follows him and calls his name. She thanks him for saving her and tells him to leave Mexico City since his life was in danger. As Victor is packing his clothes, he had not seen it. The negotiator come to see Jeff and Jeff pays him his money for the job well done. He gives Jeff the earring he had found at the hacienda. Jeff immediately recognizes it. The hijacker's leader come to Victor's house to kill him, but he finds Liz and kills her. Victor and Jeff's wife are seen having fun in a yacht. Thank you for watching our videos. Subscribe to our channel, comment and share our videos with your friends.